Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to customize your album art on Beat Saber with BMBF, and it's going to be for your Quest and Quest 2 headsets. So basically, with the new multiplayer updates, we are now able to use this tool, and I'm going to show you guys, and we're going to be able to do plenty of things with this tool. Now, for this tutorial, you do need to have SideQuest fully installed for your Quest or Quest 2, as well as BMBF. I'll have links in the tutorial for those tutorials in the description as well as in the comment section down below for you guys just to go to those tutorials you do have to be at that point with your quest plugged in like mine is up here showing your quest or quest to with the ip address once you guys have that done you guys can come back to this video uh, anyhow this tool we're going to be using today is called playlist editor pro and i'll show you guys what that looks like this is the tool that we're going to be using in today's video and one thing I would like to point out that you can do with this as well is you could also swap versions of Beat Saber on your Quest. So you could play with the modded custom songs version and then quickly switch to the unmodded version so you're able to play with your friends as well. I do have a tutorial on my page for that as well. If you guys are interested in that, I will have a link as for that in the description as well as in the comment section down below. Anyhow, uh, to move along with this tutorial to show you guys how to customize your artwork, you just want to go to this link I have in the description. It'll be for Playlist Editor Pro. And once you're on this link, you just want to go to Download. And then you want to download the newest version, the zipped version right here. So you just want to go ahead and download that, and I'll show you guys what to do once you click on download. And once the file is done downloading, you just want to go to the file. It's going to be a zip file, wherever it's located on your computer. In my case, mine's just in my downloads. And what you want to do once you're here is just right-click on that file and click on Extract here. This will then create a broken down version of the file, so you're able to see everything. And all you want to do is click on Place Editor Pro to open it up. And once you're in the Playlist Editor Pro, uh, you might have to go through a little first run, which is basically just going to show you how to use everything. Uh, but I will show you guys how to do that. So you guys can just skip through that. And basically, once you're in, all you have to do is type in the IP address of your unit. So I'm just going to go over to SideQuest here at the top of my screen, and I'll see my IP address right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that uh, IP address in here. And once you have that done, you just want to go over to your headset and open up BMBF. So just go to your... un. Uh, and once you have that done, you just want to go over to where it says test BMBF. But before you click that, you want to make sure BMBF is open in your headset. So just go to the unknown sources on the apps on your headset and open up BMBF. And then once you have that open, you can go ahead and click on test BMBF server. And you should just get this message here saying BMBF server checks out and you're ready to go. Once you see that there, you can just click on OK. And then once that's done, you should everything should be connected. You should see the current mod status of your game, whether it's modded or unmodded. Now all you got to do is go up to the top here where it says playlist and click on load. This will then load all of your songs that you have on your Quest or Quest 2. So as you see here, BMBF reports Beat Saber version 1.1.2, and it loaded up all my songs. And up here, you'll see the current playlist that you have. And once everything is loaded up, you can just go over to where the playlist drop-down menu is, and you'll see all the playlists that you currently have on your Quest or Quest 2's Beat Saber. One thing you have to do periodically as well is keep clicking Test BMBF status every now and then just to keep your Quest awake, so all the changes we were making will work perfectly fine. Sometimes you'll see you'll get this message. All you have to do is just make sure that your BMBF is open on your Quest and your Quest isn't sleeping or anything like that. So if you get this, that's how you fix that. Now the first thing that you want to do to move songs is just go to where all your songs are located. So mine are under custom songs. I'll go ahead and click that and then it will bring up all my custom songs. Mine are currently a mess right now as I haven't done any of this yet. Uh, but what you want to do is find any of the songs that you would like to move to another album. So let's say if you want to make a workout album or a popular songs album, whatever you play the most, or any other reason you'd like to make a playlist or an album, you can go ahead and look through here and decide what songs that you want to bring over to that album. So let's just say if I wanted to bring this song, I can click on the song and then just click on move. I can do the same for a couple more songs. I'll move this one and I'll move this one. And you'll see all the other, all the songs that we just chose in our unsorted songs. What you want to do now is you want to go over to where your playlists are again and just click on new. And then you can enter a playlist name that you would like to name your playlist. I'll just name this one test. Once you're done naming it, you just want to click OK. And then you'll see the new playlist populate right here. You can then go over back to your unsorted songs and click the move icon right above the other one. It's going to move all your songs over to this new playlist that we just made. And then that will put those songs there. What you could do now as well is you can rename it if you would like to. You could also set a cover image if you would like to as well. So you can just go on Google Images and pick any cover image you would like. And then go ahead and save it on this. So I'll just click on set cover. And then I'll go ahead and choose this image I've gotten and click on OK. And then we can see down here it is working and loading in. And if we click on test BMBF status after this is done, you'll see that it will then load in the cover image. 
And once you confirm that your BMBF status is currently working, you can go ahead and click on save up at the top right on your playlist. And that will save the current changes that you've made in your playlists, all your new playlists, as well as any album covers you've set. We'll then go to your custom folder on your Beat Saber on your Quest or Quest 2. So we'll give this a couple seconds to finish processing. We'll know when it's done when we see on the bottom output logs here that it's completed. So we'll give this a couple seconds to finish up. And once it's completed here, you can go over to your Quest and you can just open up Beat Saber and I'll show you guys what it looks like when you're done. And once you're in your quest, you can just go to solo and you'll see all your custom playlists and albums here with all the custom artwork you did. So here's the one I just did in the video test. So you see all my songs that I put there are now there. And there is one here that I did previously before this just to make sure it works my most played songs. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to make custom albums on Beat Saber for your Quest or Quest 2s. If you guys want to learn more about Beat Saber and any other modding that you can do with Beat Saber, be sure to subscribe to the channel and, and like this video for more. Thanks for watching.